Okay, so I just want to show y'all how to get uh, more space on your phones if you need it. Now, I have the LG Tribute through Virgin Mobile, and if you know, it is no root for this, so you can know I'm not rooted. Now, I'll just open up this app manager here right quick and show you. Let me refresh it to bring up the new apps I just installed. So you can see Facebook, Chrome Beta, and Kakeo Talk. You cannot move any of those. I'll show you by opening it. And it's not selected. Okay, so to do this, you need a platform tools. And you need to be on your device, connect it. And you need to go to settings. And you want to go down to About Phone and select Software Information and Build Number. You just click it a couple times, keep on clicking it, and it should say when you do it, you are now a developer. But it says no need, you are already a developer for me because I already did it. And now you should have developer options. You open up, just click OK. and you want to select that USB debugging now you just want to connect your phone to a computer give it a second and you should get this allow USB debug click OK now once you download ADB drivers and everything like the all you need it's gonna take a while because it's almost a gigabyte it's like 827 megabytes you should get this with it in the download description platform tools so to open that all you do is hold shift and right click on it and click open command window here so I stretched mine so y'all can see it better so right here you want to type in ADB devices And if you install everything, when it says list of devices attached, you should get your, this is a LG LS660EBD6715D device. And yes, I don't care if y'all know my device model number and everything, really don't. So once you do all that, you just want to type in ADB shell PM set install location 2. Now, once you do that, you click enter, and if you do it right, it should just go to the next command line like that. Now to figure out if you did it successful, just type in ADB shell get. Well, I forgot the PM. PM and just click enter. And now, if you did a successful, it should say to external. And now, you come to your phone. This is where your phone comes in. Don't unplug it because you still need it connected for the next thing. Just open it. Open your app manager up. This is the app that you need. It's just app manager. And now you should see that you can move it. Move. It should say moving. And I'll just stay on it so you can see that it says move to phone once you're finished. Then I'll do it to the other two apps that you couldn't move before. So I'll go back. And see, I'm under phone only, but I can still select them and do move to SD card. Now, it won't let you do this to all your apps. I think it's if you have the same phone as me. Let me reload it. 
and I'll show you the apps that you can not move. I think it's uh, all these right here that stay in the phone only. Stuff that you can move, you just swipe over to movable, and it will now be in the movable selection. Just, just swiping over, nothing's movable. And if you do get that problem, all you have to do is reboot your phone, or just close this app out, and it will work. So now you go back to your computer once you move what you want it, and you type in ADB shell PM set install location. Now you can put one or zero. If you put zero, then that's auto. I'm putting zero. Just click enter. And to make sure it was successful, you just type in ADB shell like you did the other time pm get install location click enter up oh, messed up if you get all that you know you typed in something wrong so pretty much I'm just gonna move y'all down so you ever see this There you go. So it says auto, and pretty much that's all. Now you can go back to your phone, and at the end of this, I'm just going to show y'all what I do. I type in ADB reboot, and then that's coming to your phone. Now when I click enter, just unlock it so I can show you. I hold it by the USB port. When I click enter, it will reboot it. And that's pretty much all. Now you're done with your computer and your phone. Thank you for watching. Now you can finish installing what you want on here. And then you just do that over again. And if you leave this set to 2, Google Play and certain services will not like that and it will not run. So that's pretty much all. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.